Welcome to the May Number Corner. This month, our goal is I can add and subtract within 100. We are using three tools to add tens and ones. A hundred chart, base ten blocks, and a number line. What's on our card for May 5th? On May 4th, we got to the number 53. Yes, that's the number I hopped to, says Tad. So that's the number we begin with today. That's the start of our equation. 53. What is the action we're going to do? Well, I'm going to hop. Three hops forward on the number line. That's plus three. Oh, okay, thank you, Tad. We are going to add plus three to 53. This isn't a very hard problem. And we'll use our tools to find out what we get. If you already did this with mental math, that's great. Let's find out what happens on the chart. Okay, starting at 53. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Start at 53 and jump three jumps forward. Let's do that together. Say 53 all together. 53, 54, 55, 56. So that's adding three on the number chart. How do we do that with base 10 blocks? I want to do that. Right? Oh, sure, Quackers. You can add the three. All right, quack, quack. Let's see. We were at 53. 54. Quack, quack. 55. Quack, quack. 56. It's 56. Yep, quack, 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 quack. Very good job, Quackers. Thank you for helping. All right, now on the number line, we also add three. But before we work on that, where's my blue marker? There we go. Before we work on that, we need to kind of know how big of the jumps we need to make. So let's put our number that goes halfway between 50 and 60, right here. So halfway in between, what number is that? That's right, 55. That helps us figure out how big our jumps need to be when we draw them on. So starting at 53, we need to find 53. It's a little closer to 55 than 50. So I'm going to put it right here. That's our starting number, 53. And we're going three jumps. Ready? Say 53 again with me. 53, 54, 55, 56. So we land on the number 56. And then we can put that number up here in our box. I have another way to do it. Quack, quack, quack. I thought of it in my brain. Oh, Quakers, can you share it with us your way? Yep, yep, yep. Well, I knew that these were the ones in the number 53, and these were more ones. And I knew 3 plus 3 is 6, because that's a uh, devil's problem. So 6, and that's still 50. So 50 plus 6 was 56. That's how I did it in my brain. Well, thank you, Oikers. That's another way to do it. Good job. Wait, wait, wait. You forgot to add the X on the chart. Oh, yes, Hoppy, you're right. We need to add the 56, and it is going to be a blue X. So everyone get out your 100 chart if you are helping mark the Xs to see what Tad is going to catch and mark a blue X on the 56. Now we're going to figure out where Tad hops next on our card for May 6th. Yesterday, we landed on the 56. Yes, we did. We were on the 56. And now, let's see what we're going to do. Oh, there's three 
arrow is going up. That's backwards on that chart. Oh, so backwards means we are going to take away. All right. Thank you, Chad. So we're going to start at the 56 with our equation. And we're going to take away. What are we going to take away? Rawr, I know what we're going to take away. Taking away 10 each time because that arrow is going up, up, up. So that's take away 10. Take away 10. Take away 20. Take away 30. Rawr, 30. Okay. Thank you, Leo Lion. So we're taking away 30. And we'll use our tools to find out where Chad will land. I can do it! I can do it! I can jump back 30! Okay, Chad, let's have the kids count back 10s with us. Okay, kids, ready with me! Start at the 56! Ready? 46! 36! But you better check the other ways too. Okay, thank you, Tad. That was very helpful. Who would like to help me take away base 10 block? I was on! Oh, you! Okay, those are pretty heavy for you. Maybe Kanga should help. Yes, I will help you. You just tell me which ones to do. Take away 10! Let's do it! We got 56! Let's come back where it's. That was really helpful. Now let's check out our number line. First, we need to add some numbers that are missing on this number line. What number goes in between 20 and 40 at the halfway point? Think about counting by tens. 20, 40. What is it? That's right, 30. And now think about what number goes halfway between 40 and 60. Think about counting by tens. 40. That's right, 50. Now we're ready to take away three tens on the number line. Which animal would like to help with that? Me, me, I love number lines, especially long ones that go all the way from 20 to 60. You could almost measure me on this number line. Okay, thank you, Verdi. It's good to see that you love number lines. All right, I'm going to get the red pen. And we're starting at 56. Well, that's kind of a little tricky. Let me see. We need the 55 there, too. So 55, then I know where my 56 is. There it is. That's where I'm starting. 56. And we are going to count back tens. Ready? 56, 46, 36, 26. And each jump was minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. And hey, we got to that 26 just like everybody else. Do I get to write it in? Do I get to write it in? Yes, Verity, you do. Okay, 26. That's our answer. Good job, animals. And now we need to write that number on our chart. Who would like to do that? Me, me, me. I would like to do that. Okay, and what number, what color do I need? Let's see, you need a black marker for the 26. All right, black. Everybody get black. Black, black, black. And we're going to mark the 26. There we go. The May 7th card has some words for us to read. I want to read them. I want to read them. Okay, Ted, you can do that. There it goes. It's getting away. Hop, Ted, hop. That's me. I'll hop, 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 hop. Ted, Ted. Oh, oh, yeah. Hop, Ted, hop. To 48. But how many hops do I go? Well, Ted, that's the part we have to figure out. Well, 
Well, how am I going to add or subtract? Well, we got to figure that out too. Well, where do we begin? It doesn't say that on the card. All right, let's look at our number that we had. 10, 20, 25, 26, 10, 25, 26, 26. Oh, on 26, that's where we start. Oh yeah, here's 26 would be right after the 25. Okay, and which way would I go? Backwards subtracting or forwards adding to get to 48 over there? Oh, kids, do you know? That's right. We would add. We would add. We would add. Yay! Okay. I like that. I know. I'm going to add, but how many hops? I still don't know that. From 26 to 48. That's a little tricky. Mrs. B, would you please write that for you? Okay, that'll help us figure it out. Thanks, Dad. All right, we started at 26, 26, and Dad helped us know we're going to add because we're going to get to 48, but we don't know how many hops yet to get there. You might have figured that out in your brain. That's great, and anyone doing that could explain it to me later. We're headed for 48. That's our equation, but we need to figure out how we're going to do that. I can help you with that. I love jumps of 10. Okay, Wally, let's see. Where do we begin at the 26? Oh, I gotta get this marker positioned maybe between my tusks. That's a good way to do it. Okay, 26 is right there right after the 25. And we need to get to the 48. First, we're gonna jump with jumps of 10. Children can help me. 26. Ready? 36. That's a plus 10. Jump. 36. 46. Another plus 10 jump. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. 46. We need to do jumps of 1. 47. 48. That's two jumps of 1. Plus 1. Plus 1 more. And we get to 48. So what was that? Let's see. 10, 20, 21, 22. 22 jumps is what I get. All right. Thank you, Wally. Who would like to do this with the base 10 block? I would like to do it. I move very slowly, but I can get them. Here we go. We need two ten. Drag them both at the same time. So we had 20 and 20 is 40. So we must remember we added those two tens, 20, but that makes 46. And we still need to get to 48, so we need ones. I'm going to get two ones. And I'll put them right. Here. And now we've got 48. And I added 22. Thank you, Rainbow. That was very helpful. Okay, okay. Now I know where to hop. I was at the 26. And I need to jump 22. I could do that a couple of ways. I could do two jumps of one, and two jumps of ten, or I can do two jumps of ten, and two jumps of one. I get to the same place. Let's check that out. We're going to do two jumps of ten, and then two jumps of one. Ready? We're at the twenty-six. Kids, do it with me. Twenty-six. Thirty-six. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Hey, and that's where we get to. Forty-eight, and I jumped twenty-two jumps. All right, now we can write our number in. We know that 26 plus 22 equals 48. And we'll mark our 48 on the chart. And that needs to be with the blue marker. 48 on the chart with a blue marker. So get out your hundred chart. Just put the 
48 on the chart. On our May 8th card, we start at the number 48, and we go two jumps down. That's right, Ted. And there I am on the card. Yes, you are. So this one's not hard at all. We're starting at the 48. Two jumps down. That's any man because the higher going down on that chart. Plus two jumps. Then 20. Okay, that's right. Plus 20 equals. Some of you may be doing your mental math already to figure that out. That's fantastic. Oh, I know how to do it. Yep, yep, yep. Start at the 48. Two jumps down. Count by tens with me. 48. 58. 68. Woohoo. 68. That was pretty easy, Ted. Yes, it was. I want to do those base 10 blocks. Yes, I do. Okay, Hoppy, here you go. We just need two tens. Here we go. Starting at 48. 58. 68. Hey, hey, 68. That's our same answer. Absolutely. Right. And do the number line. I'm a number lion, and I like number line. Is it Ken? <laughs> All right. We need that red marker to do this one. And we're starting at 48. That's really close to 15. Right here. We're at 48. We're going to do two jumps of 10. Here we go. Ready? 58. 68. Plus 10. And plus 10 is plus 20. And that got us to 68. Wahoo. Great number. Now we need to mark the 68 with a purple marker on your 100 chart. Oh, look. OK, so we're going to have to have an edit here. I did the wrong number line. Okay. I'm a number lion and I like number lines. Okay, I'll do it. You're right. Okay. I'll do it. A good, even level and voices will be heard even in a whisper. 